What the? Why do your lips not go? You gotta let them loose. Can't do it. How do you? What's the actor thing? <laughs> I swear to God. What's the actor thing? What do you do? You go like that. Yeah. What? Do you have to do the arm thing? No, it's just for fun. All right, all right, all right. Go. La, 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 la. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back, I'm Corey. I'm Kate, and today we are going down to Moheen, Tennessee to pick up our future camper. So, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we're out here in Moheen. Is that where we are? Sure. Moheen, Tennessee. <laughs> We're picking up the trailer today, which is exciting. And uh, we found this trailer on Craigslist for a pretty good deal. And the only problem is the fellow we bought it from lives on top of a frigging cliff. So he's gonna pull it down the hill for us in his big Ford F-250 Super Duty. And uh, not both dogs here. Yeah, both the dogs are back here. Ray's freaking out because she can't handle seeing anyone because they get no. too excited. She thinks she's friends with everyone. Yep. Oh god, this is oh. so steep! Oh my oh god! My god. Hold on. Here, Ray is going crazy, and out there is our trailer. Not our truck. Uh, we had to get them to pull it down for us, but we're going home with this this baby today. And here's here's Kylo. He's being good, unlike his sister. You are an anxious mess, aren't you? It's a big old trailer. We're gonna see what we can do with it. Wish us luck. All right, so we just picked up the trailer. It's behind us, you can see it back there. A little nervous, not gonna lie. When my trailer brakes are working, I cranked it up all the way just to see if they would work and it stopped the vehicle, so that's good. And it's empty, so I think this thing weighs probably close to 2,000 pounds-ish. And uh, I'm pulling it with a 2011 4Runner SR5 4x4. Um, yeah, it's really doing fine I can feel it back there can you feel it can yeah you, yeah we can feel it back there it's exciting I'm excited <laughs> they asked me if I was ready for this new adventure and I was like hell yeah are you ready yeah I'm ready to camp in it I know let's get this baby insulated so we got a long way to go I think we're ready for that <sighs> yeah it's okay it but it will be fun to do it Alright, well, let's get off here so I can concentrate on driving and I'll wreck this thing since, you know, this is one of the biggest things we've ever pulled with a car this small, so yep. let's do it. Alright, so we've made it a couple miles down the road and uh, before I get on the main highway, I'm going to just pull over here and check everything myself. So there's, we found a big gravel parking lot out here, so this is actually pretty close to where the highway is. So I'm just going to jump out and check the chains to make sure the ball's hooked up. He did hook it up for me, right? And, um, you know, I know how to hook up a trailer. Um, and I just want to double check that everything is good. I think that's always wise when somebody else does stuff that's, you know, stuff for you, right? You should always double check it, I feel like. So I want to check it again and make sure my chains are in a good spot and go from there. All right, we got a, uh, here's our hitch. You can kind of see our chains are pretty close to the ground. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and like take these and like twist them up a little more. Mm. Yeah, so you can just take your chains and twist them up. So that's what I'm going to do. Get those a little more off the ground would be good. All locked in the place. That thing is good. Roll my winch up a little more. And yeah, all right, I think we're good. So you can see I have our chains a little better. A little, a little more lifted up now, so that'll be good. Um, all right, cool. Let's get this baby on the road. 
All right, I'm back home and uh, I have successfully backed the trailer down. It's pretty, pretty big trailer coming down this really steep, steep driveway. Um, and uh, I knew this beforehand. I actually rented a U-Haul trailer for a couple hours and backed it up and down the driveway to see how it was going to fit. And uh, um, I have this uh, backyard area, see, and uh, this really sharp corner right here. And I would love to be able to put it back under here in this little space, literally right here in front of this post. Um, but I just cannot get around this corner. I've tried and tried and tried. And I've got a couple options to do. I could fix it to try to get around the corner. One of which would be to take out this tree. It's a pretty massive tree. And come around there. You can see where I've took my wheels out of the out of the flower bin, ran over some daffodils, much to my wife's unhappiness, unfortunately. Uh, and anyway, it's just not possible. I just cannot get it around this corner. So I've worked out a solution. I think I can put it. I think I can put it here. It's going to be at a slight decline, unfortunately. Not a not a huge decline, but a little bit of a decline. But I think I can level it out once I get it unhooked. And I got a lot of cool solutions that I'm going to work on to get it locked in place. But first thing we got to do is we got to level it. All right. It has been an hour or two, and. Uh, I've got the trailer towed all the way down the driveway and uh, we've got several other projects happening kind of all at the same time right now and uh, i wanted to level it out because it was on such a steep incline so let me kind of show you what i did so um i've got tools kind of laying everywhere and stuff so here's you know got the trailer down the hill i got it unhooked over here so unhooked and i dropped it down as low as it would get uh, well not as low as it would get low enough to be level i had uh caitlin send right here with the level when we looked at this so it is sitting level horizontally um because it's on such a steep incline, I was actually pretty worried about that, but it's level. It's actually leaning forward a little bit, which is great because that'll keep it from rolling down the hill, hopefully. So um, I got chucks, chocks, chucks, chocks, whatever, chocks. <laughs> I got trailer chocks, wheel chocks underneath the wheels. You can see I also got like one of these uh, RV stabilizers that go between the dualies, um, dual axle uh, trailers to kind of stabilize it even more. That really is not, not really made for chocking, but it's made for... Uh, you know, just uh, kind of keeping it stable when you're standing it and stuff. But I figure all the extra help it could get. Then on this side, when I dropped it down, um, it was leaning to the left a good deal. So I put some uh, some of those you know RV leveling blocks underneath there, and it's still not quite totally level um, this way, but it's pretty level. See, I got my level back here in the back, and oh, uh, it needs another another inch or so to get it perfect. But you know, I don't really want to lift it up that high. Um, you know, it's already on a hill, so I'm going to lift it up that high. So I'm pretty impressed. This is one of the things I was most worried about was bringing it down the hill and, uh, finding a good place to keep it while I work on it and store it and stuff. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to do this right now is because it is on a hill and it gets pretty windy to, up here. I'm going to take one of these cargo D rings, these anchors. I'm going to take this D ring right here and I'm going to bolt it into my driveway right there and uh, attach my safety chains to it just so I have a little extra little extra strength just in case of, case of an emergency if it comes a big windstorm and tries to blow this damn thing down the hill like it, it won't go anywhere so you know I have apartment buildings down there behind this little condo that's where we're at uh we got a lot of other projects going on Caitlin's working in her flower bed over here she's got a got some plants going Caitlin, what kind of plants are these wisteria trees right so i built this thing last year and during covid and we got these cool like vine type of things are going up around it so a little side project work never stops does it yep. all right stopped. that's right never stop oh yeah one more thing look this is stupid but i just installed this thing too um wall mounted uh hose those things suck i hate those so anyway i'm gonna drill this thing in and uh See you guys later. Really no risk of this. You think I ought to put it right in the middle so it doesn't look so bad? Probably. Probably. All right, I'm just gonna put it like right there. Yes. Yep, sounds good, huh? so sounds good to me. Huh? It sounds good to me. Ray wants to help you. I help you, Ray. You're not gonna like this one, so I'm running it. <laughs> Got my hammer drill. Sorry. What the hell is Kylo. That? No, he's right next to your, okay. <laughs> right next to your foot. Oh, oh look oh, at him. <laughs> You're such a good boy. Okay, sorry, back to you. Back to me. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> this thing really quick and then we'll be done. All right.
Oh nice, if you have to drill a bunch of holes, like when we built the deck back there, you can get you a little cup of water. I've made you get me cups of water before. Yeah, you? and dip the drill bit in the yeah. water. You get the cup of water, you dip the drill bit in the water when it gets hot and keep it from breaking. You can keep it cool, it won't break. Tighten it up really tight. All right, one more. itself is hot. I bet. Don't touch me with it. <laughs> Alright, that's that. So All gonna... right. Oh Ooh. god. I don't like that sound. Stuck the concrete. There we go. Alright. What'd you just kick? The... Huh. <laughs> Socket was stuck to it, so it oh. knocked it off. All right, All right, that's that. So let me click these in and loosen it or untwist them. Neat. This thing is not that going is anywhere. Yep. Yeah. Secure trailer. Give it a good me, kick. Yeah. <laughs> Put a footprint in it. All right. We're good. All righty. Well guys, we have a trailer now. It is bolted to our driveway and we are ready to rock and roll. That's right. Now we have to start the <laughs> long process of actually building this thing. Which the is fun, be fun part. It's gonna the be fun. fun. That's right, that's right. For more build details, instruction guides, and things like that, if you want to build your own cargo trailer, head over to our website. We do have that put together now. It's DIYCargoTrailer.com. We have lots of instructions over there. Also, if you want to skip some of the Google SketchUp stuff and just start with ours, we do have our SketchUp file for sale over on the website. It's just a couple bucks. You can pick that up and uh, sort of skip some of that process, right? You can start with that, our design. That headache process yeah. we went through. It took a long time to figure out Google <laughs> SketchUp, so you can kind of skip some of that if you want to by checking that out over on the site. I think that's going to do it for this one. Yeah. We will uh, see you guys next time. Wish us luck.